In the previous demo videos, we have seen how to create users and template message. This video is a continuation of the other two demo videos that you have seen. In this video we shall see how to create campaigns, in the process use templates, user segments, scheduling the campaigns and reports related to campaigns. To create an outbound WhatsApp campaign, go to Engage module, click on Outbound, and click Create Campaign. Creating a campaign is a simple five-step process as you can see listed on the left side. First step is to name the campaign and select the WhatsApp channel as the medium to run the campaigns. Click Next. Second step is to select a template message that you want to send to the target users. These are the approved templates. Irrespective of the WhatsApp template selected, recipient phone number has to be provided by selecting the number field from user table. Next, select the sender WhatsApp business number. Next, additional parameters based on the variables in the template message. Each variable has to be mapped to a field in user table. In this example template message, we are mapping first variable to name field from user table and second variable to order number field in the user table. That's how a template message is selected. The third step is to select the target audience or users. In the users section we saw how user segments are created based on the conditions you set. Select the right segment to whom you want to schedule the notification. If segments are not yet created you can create them now by clicking new segment button. After the audience is selected, the next step is to schedule the campaign. The campaigns can be scheduled to run once immediately, by selecting now, or at a later date and time that you can select from the calendar. You can also schedule campaigns to run multiple times, recursively, either daily or weekly or monthly. If you select daily then you have to select a specific time in a day when you want the campaign to execute. You can decide to run the campaigns forever, or stop it on a specific date and time, or set a value for number of occurrences. After the set number of occurrences, the campaign is stopped. If weekly schedule is selected, you need to select a time and day of the week. You can select all weekdays or specific day of the week. The schedule can be stopped on a specific date and time or after a certain number of occurrences. If you select monthly schedule then you need to select the specific day of the month, example 1st of the month or 5th of the month or 20th of the month, so on. The schedule can be stopped on a specific date and time or after a certain number of occurrences. Optionally, you can enable business hours and select the day of the week and the start time and end time to schedule the campaigns. Thus, the campaigns are scheduled only during the set business hours. You can enable same business hours for all day of the week. Or, you can enable different business hours for each day of the week. You can decide on discarding the messages delivered during non-business hours or postpone to the start of the next business day. Now we have reached the last step in the process. Click Next to review the campaign and launch it to run now. You could notice the template message delivered on the user's WhatsApp number after two minutes. In the message you notice the variable 1 is replaced with the user's name and the variable 2 is replaced with order number. Outbound notification dashboard shows the list of campaigns that are pending, scheduled, running, completed, failed, and paused. Here you will also notice other details like number of messages sent, messages delivered successful, messages read, messages failed, last execution time and next execution time, if it is recurring schedule. At the end of each record, you have an option to download the campaign report. The report is sent to you over email. Here is one sample report. You can filter the campaigns by name, status as scheduled, or running, or pending, or completed. Filter by channels as WhatsApp, email, or SMS. Filter by last executed date as well. Click on the individual campaign name to see more details of the campaigns. The dashboard shows the campaign process and the timestamp of each process execution. It also shows the report of each occurrence, status, number of messages sent, read, and execution start and end time. As you observed, the whole process of scheduling a campaign is a very simple five-step process. With this we conclude the demo. Hope you are able to understand how to create a WhatsApp campaign now.